थ्री ऑफ मशीन थ्री ऑफ मशीन मैकेनिकल आफ्टरनून सेशन सो दिस क्वेश्चन वॉज आज फॉर वन मार्क इफ यू लुक एट द क्वेश्चन फॉर ए फ्रिक्शन लेस गेयर ट्रेन टॉर्क अप्लाइड ऑन द गेयर हैविंग ट्वेल्व टूथ इज हंड्रेड न्यूटन मीटर वॉट विल बी द टॉर्क एट द आउटपुट शार्ट हैविंग सो ए गेयर सो विथ सिक्सटी नंबर ऑफ टूथ so here he gave a gear train so in this gear train so he is saying that a torque of 100 newton meter is applied on a gear so which is having a uh, 12 number of tooth and he is asking us to get the value of so what will be the torque so that is available at gear 4 and he is saying that it's a frictionless gear train so since it's a frictionless gear train there won't be any power loss there won't be any loss of energy since there is no loss of energy i can write like this so the power that is available at the input Will be exactly same as the power that is available at the output shaft. So the input shaft. So I am calling this input gear. This is gear one. This is shaft one, and the output shaft is having gear four. I can say this is shaft four. I can say the power available at the input shaft and the power available at the output shaft must be same. So since there are no losses due to friction, I can write like this. So torque on the input shaft so is T one, and speed of input shaft is omega one. So torque of output shaft so that is T four. Into so speed of output shaft that is omega four. <clears throat> so I want to find out so the torque that is available at the shaft four. I can write like this. So T four by T one is nothing but so omega four so divided by sorry so omega one so by omega four. So if I can find velocity ratio for this gear train or speed ratio for this gear train, so I can get so the torque that is transmitted to gear four. Torque that is transmitted to gear four is nothing but so torque at gear one into so this speed ratio or speed of main driver to the of speed of main driven. So from the gear train I can write like this: gears one and two are in mesh. So since gears one and two are in mesh, I can write like this: so omega one by omega two is T two by but T one. So T two by T one is nothing but number of two on gear. So just to avoid confusion, I am writing this. Z2 by Z1. <coughs> so number of tooth on gear two to the number of tooth on gear one. So similarly, so gears three and four are in mesh. So for gears three and four, I can write like this: speed of gear three to the top speed of gear four is equal to number of tooth on gear four to the top number of tooth on gear three. So to get speed ratio, I am multiplying these two equations. So if I multiply these two equations, so omega one by omega two into So omega three, so by omega four is so number of tooth on gear two, number of tooth on gear four, so number of tooth on gear one to the top number of tooth on gear three. So if you look at this gear two and gear three, so they are mounted on same shaft. Since they are on same shaft, I can say speed of gear two will be same as speed of gear three. So from here I can write like this: so omega one by omega four is. So number of tooth on gear two. So number of tooth on gear two is given as forty-eight. So number of tooth on gear four is given as sixty. Number of tooth on gear one is given as twelve. Number of tooth on gear three is given as twelve. If you simplify this, you will get speed ratio that turns out to be twenty. So from here I can write like this: the torque that is available at the output shaft is nothing but torque on input shaft is a hundred newton meter into the speed ratio is twenty. This is nothing but it's two thousand newton meter. This is the torque and output shaft that is gear four. So this was asked for one mark.